Hello, who's that? Oh, it's the consistency police. Listen, you and I both know that consistency is key, but a lot of the times there's a confusion when it comes to consistency. What really is consistency? Let's dive deeper into that in today's episode. In my hand, I've got this fancy formulated graphic representation of your calories per day. 1,800, for example. Now, this is what most of you think consistency needs to look like. Exactly, spot on. 1,800 calories every single day. A stands for average. You think every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you need to hit 1,800 calories bang on to have an average of 1,800 over seven days of the week. That's what many people think consistency is. So as we turn the page on this magnificently drawn graphic representation, we'll see what happens next. Monday, you hit 1,800 calories. Tuesday, you hit 1,800 calories. Let me check what I wrote for Wednesday. Wednesday, you also hit 1,800 calories. Let's balance this here. You've been super consistent until shit hits the fan on Thursday. That's what happens on Thursday. You have 2,100 calories and that's where that red cross takes place. On Thursday, you feel like, oh shit, I've had 2,100 calories. I've fucked my consistency. What's the point of carrying on on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Fuck that diet starts on Monday because you believe you've messed up your consistency. A lot of this stems from that all or nothing mindset, black or white, no in between. Catch my drift, I know you do. You and I, same WhatsApp group. Now, as I turn this page, the secret of consistency is going to be revealed. It's going to be mind blowing. Oh, you're gonna be like, wow, why didn't I think of that ages ago? It's taken one simple YouTube video from an unknown person in her small little apartment sitting on a bed to tell me this. You see now, this is actually what consistency looks like. Oh shit, I forgot to write in the calorie values for each day. Give me one second, I'll be right back. She's armed with her marker. Monday, 1,650 calories. So let's say your calorie goal is still 1,800. If you're not sure how to calculate your calorie goal, there's a link in the description of this video to a full article that explains it, as well as to my free calorie calculator. Go and use it. If this fucking, I'm gonna get paper cut on my face. On Monday, you have 1,650 calories. Tuesday, ooh, 2,000 calories. Does that mean you fucked your consistency? Absolutely not, because consistency isn't hitting targets bang on every single day. Consistency is about, ooh, okay, I ate a little bit more today. Let me proceed as per normal instead of giving up. That's how you create consistency. And then Wednesday, give me a second, I'm still filling it in, 1,800 calories. See now, Wednesday, 1,800 calories, right? Because you didn't give up, because you didn't think, fuck this shit. Thursday, you weren't that hungry, 1,650 calories. Friday, you were just like, mm, okay, cool. Still not exceptionally hungry, 1,700 calories, satisfied for the day. That's where I'm gonna call it a day with the food. Saturday, 2,100 calories, okay, again, over target, but not inconsistent. You don't give up. Sunday, you're like, oh, okay, I'm still full from the extra calories I had yesterday. I'll end it at 1,700 calories. And then the most important thing here is to look at your averages. Guess what? That's your average for the week, 1,800. Boom, bang on target. And if you look at it from a weekly perspective, week upon week upon week, if you're hitting your targets on average, boom, that's you creating consistency. Some days you might not be that hungry, you consume 100 calories less. Some days you might be hungry, you consume 100 calories more. Some days you might be going to a social event, 300 extra calories. Maybe the next day you're still full from that day, so you consume a little bit less. Let's page back to the first slide. Oh. How she gets through life every day, I don't know. I'm not saying this rigid way of doing it isn't acceptable. If that works for you, that's also fine. What I'm saying is, is that if you do go over calories on any specific day, it doesn't mean you've failed. It doesn't mean you've fucked up your consistency. It doesn't mean you give up. The biggest thing that will help you create consistency is proceeding as per normal and looking at your averages. 
Imagine if every time you go over your calories, you give up and you throw away three or four days because it's not perfect. How the fuck are you going to create consistency doing that? Realistically, you need to ask yourself that question. Whereas if you're okay with a couple of days of, oh, I'm over calories and a couple of days where you may be 100 under calories, eh? cool, my average for the week, more or less on target. Win. The same can go for your step targets. Ah, my dentist won't like that. Sunday. You might get 2,000 year, maybe you get 7,000 year, maybe you get 20,000 year, maybe you get 10,000 year, maybe eight. Now, let's be realistic. Eight. What's that, Mandy? It's an eight. It's not a spider. Your averages over time will most likely see that you are smashing your step targets. So maybe one day you're exceptionally busy at work and you can't get your 10,000 steps. Oh shit, fucking cry me a step river. No. You get your 8,000 steps, the next day maybe you'll get 1,000 over target. Boom, averages sorted. We need to add some grey to our lives. If you live in the UK, I know you've got a lot of fucking grey at the moment because of the shortage of sunlight. Consistency isn't every single day hitting your targets in a rigid manner. Again, if that works for you, proceed that way. But I want you to know, if your step target is 10,000 per day or your calorie goal is 1,800 per day and you don't necessarily hit those goals, it's not the end of the road. It's not the end of you creating consistency. What will mean the end of the road or what will mean the end of you creating consistency is you giving up because you feel like you've fucked it all. 9,500 on average over seven days. That day where you got 2,000 steps, if you didn't proceed as per normal and you had given up, what do you think your average steps for the day would have looked like? You wouldn't have even got close to your step goal because the less you try, the less you achieve. If you stop trying, your chances of progress is realistically consistency is created by you pushing forward whether you hit targets or not. Averages over time are the things that are going to play a major role in your success and your progress. It's not necessarily what we do on one day that matters, but it's what we do over a long period of time. Don't let one little day where you don't get targets get in the way of you proceeding and progressing.